Hey, this is David Shelton bringing you another episode of Real Value. Today we're in downtown Sioux Falls, right in front of the Gospel Mission. There's a men's facility here, a women's facility here. This week on November 30th was Giving Tuesday. I've never heard of it before as a, as a, a, a day where people are purposing to give, but hey, it's cool. We gave thanks on, uh, on the 25th, I think it was, uh, on Thanksgiving Day, and, and we were grateful for so many things. But this is a, a day and, and a week and maybe a time and an episode to consider putting giving in a mode uh, on a regular basis rather than just one day a year for some cause that kind of makes us feel better, but maybe it doesn't really do anything lasting. And so today I wanted just to talk to you about that, what you might do, what we're doing to make it regular, daily, um, intentional giving of our, of our time, our treasure, and our talents. Right, so that on all aspects, it's the way that we live. It's kind of a lifestyle, if you will. So that's what I want to encourage you with today as, we, as we're here in front of the Gospel Mission, uh, men's facility here, women and children over in the other facility, and uh, they're doing great things, housing hundreds of people a day here in Sioux Falls, like many places that do the same thing as they do, there's, there are women's shelters, there's women and children's shelters. There's some places, undisclosed locations, that we couldn't film from today because, because people fear for their lives and they're being carefully taken care of and given a comfortable place to live and to be restored um, and to not be uh, abused, right? So all of that is going on right around us all, all of the time. And so to be mindful of that, to be mindful of how we may be able to give to other people's lives. I got to tell you a short story. My family and I, uh, Thanksgiving a few years back, we, uh, we led some worship. I gave a message on a Thanksgiving evening. And then in my mind, I was thinking, well, we don't want to eat here because we don't want to take from the people that are eating. And, and I, was, I was challenged by one of the, the, the uh, guests of the, of the mission uh, and encouraged and kind of admonished and maybe even rebuked um, that, uh, hey, David, you know what would mean more to us is if you would have a meal with us, sit down next to us and just have a conversation with us as, as, as if we were important. And man, I just, I can't, I can't forget that. And so our giving has changed. The, the way that I approach things has changed. It's not... Uh, just to do stuff for others and, and feel good about what I just did and then go on my merry way, but to include others in the way I give and to take time and to, and to listen and to really participate in their lives in a deeper, more meaningful way. What does that look like? What does it look like for you? I know what it looked like for me um, with the people on that Thanksgiving evening when we gave a message and then sat down and ate with the people that were there. It was life-changing. I want to make sure that you know that you have opportunities all around you. There's a hashtag Giving Tuesday thing that people are doing. There's a, in South Dakota, South Dakota Gives is another organization. You can hashtag in front of that too and see kind of what's going on, what gives, right, all over the place. Um, but I encourage you to be, to be mindful, to be, to be regular uh, in your giving. And don't stop with uh, a token. Um, there, there's a story in the Bible that talks about giving. Some fellows were giving um, out of their excess. And then one lady gave a small amount, but it was all she had. And that amount was greater in that teaching than what the others were giving, although monetarily it was, it was the least amount. So what we have to give today, not when we win the lottery, not when we you know, reach these different milestones, but if we're not giving in our common everyday course of things, if we're not planning it and doing it and exercising in it, we're not gonna do it later down the road. It's just that simple. So enjoy the day 
enjoy a lifestyle of giving. Be sure to stay tuned to the end of this video. We'll have some great content for you. Look forward to seeing you every Friday on Facebook at 1 p.m. and on Mondays on YouTube at 1 p.m. Be sure to like and share this content, share this video, and, uh, and be sure to encourage others to be givers as well um, and lead by example. Thanks. If you are looking for an opportunity to serve in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, log on to ugmsuefalls.com to start serving today at the Union Gospel Mission. You can also make your donations direct to them via their website. There's also many opportunities for you to volunteer. They have meal service, thrift store, distribution center, chapel service, kids ministry, and art studio. So use the talents God has given you and serve others this holiday season.